All right, what we're going to do is we're going to cut some parts for our birdhouse. Our uh, main goal is to, uh, we actually have our 1x6 that's five foot long. We got that prepped. Okay, so it's five and a half this way, three quarter thick. Okay, and as you kind of see here, we got all our parts. Kind of shows you how we're going to cut this thing out. Okay, so here's our goal we got a front, we got a back piece, we got a side, and another side. So that's four parts. Okay, side, side, front, back. So our front and back are going to be just like that. Okay. First thing we want to do is cut our parts out. Okay. So we went to the chop box. We're going to measure, cut, measure, cut. All right. So what do we need to do? Our board is five and a half, so we got to measure six. Okay. So what I did was I'm going to go to the chop box in a minute. Got all my parts cut. So what I do is save the last roof part for the last. So that way, you can actually rip that down to the table saw, okay? So that's our game plan. We've got our, we've got our board, and then we're gonna go to the chop box. Now look, when we go to the chop box, we can use this, all right? A couple things to remember. It's our kerf plate, and this is our miter gauge. We're gonna talk about that in a minute, okay? Especially when we start cutting our angles. Their angles are gonna be a 45 degree angle, all right? And then when I take this, that's called a pre-lock. I'm gonna want that at a 45, okay? You can't really see that in there, it's really dark. But that's a 45, okay? It's a pre-lock, make sure that's locked before you do anything. Okay, so first thing we did was uh, measure lock and cut, so I got all my pieces. When you're doing that, make sure that you have stock on the correct side okay so i measure this eight and a quarter eight and three quarters keep your stock against the fence okay okay now this was my eight and three quarters stock so what i'm going to do is to lay out for this all i need to do is Just like my directions say, come up six inches. All right, so look at my plans. This is six inches, and then my angle starts. So come up six inches and make a mark. So, what I did was I measured six inches up. Okay, and I make my mark. If I, if I actually square a line all the way across, that way this goes this way and this goes this way okay so all I got to do is put my saw blade here put my saw blade here and that's going to give me my point if I want to find my center I can find my center okay it's gonna look just like that so look I get to cut my angles now look my angle is gonna be whatever this dimension is five and a half so if I go up six this is six inches this was this should be two and three quarters so this should be two and three quarters because that's a perfect square okay so that's a 90 so we're going to do a 45 so when i take my boards I'll take these over here i already had them marked out so mark them out first and then go over to the chop box all right now look i come to the chop box you guys are going to keep your stock on the right hand uh, on the left hand side side all the time so when I do this I'm not gonna make my angle cut this way I'm gonna make my angle cut away from me okay so lock that in now what you can also push down on this tab if you want to but this tab is for if there's no pre if there's not a pre-lock you can lock it in anywhere you want okay so there's a pre-stop, lock it in, all right? So look, I'm gonna set this up. And what I'm gonna do is keep my hands five inches away, all right? I'm gonna line this up right in here. Okay, I want my blade to come here. Now when I cut, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna move my stock 
into, I'm gonna move my stock into my cut. So if I make a couple of cuts, it's okay. okay. Let the saw blade come to an end first. You see how I made a couple of cuts? And then my, I had my saw blade go right to here. So that's gonna give me my pinpoint. Now look, all I need to do is flip this over, okay? Now I don't have a mark on this side, but if I get my square and I square this over, this should be where I should put my saw blade. So I get my 45 degree cut, okay? Okay, perfect, all right? Now my wood is actually a little wider than the other one. So what I'm gonna do, I'll make this other cut. Actually, all I'm gonna do is trace my other side. Five step. Now what I can do is I'll go back and I'll show you how to get your bottom. Stuck. Now look, I got all my parts. All I need to do is we're gonna put this together now. Okay, so I have my two sides. I got my front, my back, my side. Here's my other side. Okay, I got my roof. I already got my roof pieces. Now this one here, I already have my roof assembled on this one. Okay, so it's gonna sit like this, all right? So, let's so put that to the side. So what do I need? I have everything except for my bottom piece. So when we take a look at our bottom piece, this was left over. So if this was a piece, was a left over in my stock, what I can do is this. This was my piece of wood. Look, this was my whole piece of wood. It was laying flat. So this is the five and a half this way. Okay, so all I need to do is slide this in here. Okay, and then this is my side piece. Make it flush here. And then all you really need to do is Drive this, and this piece here, this piece here is going to be your bottom piece, okay? Or what I can do is, you know, what I can do is actually, we'll take a look at this, put this together. I, I can actually do some measurements if I wanted to, okay? So look, it's gonna sit just like this. So whatever this distance is from here to here, it's gonna be my side piece, okay? Just watch which way the grain's running. So I can actually put that down if I wanted to. I can actually just make a mark. I could cut that and then this is my bottom, okay? So then I'd have all my pieces ready to go. Now look. This is my bottom piece. Is this gonna be long enough so I can make a chop? Yes, I can. Okay. Yes, I can. Now, my other roof piece, my other roof piece, remember, I have to rip some of that out, okay? So make sure that this is long enough so I can actually take three quarters of an inch out of that, okay? Let's look at my top from here to here is five and a half inches, all right? Look, that's five and a half wide. Now this is five and a half wide, okay? So when I put it on my house, it looks proportionate. Five and a half, five and a half, okay? All right, so I should have all my parts from my birdhouse.